city of Tampa is remembering a grim part of its history, the lynching of a black man. It happened 88 years ago, and today, ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton shows us how the city is honoring that man and the other lynching victims from Tampa's past. Tampa, home to some of the most beautiful beaches along the Gulf Coast, theme parks, Super Bowl and Stanley Cup champs, and beautiful weather. Uh, but like most of the country, Tampa has a dark past rooted in racism. There's some ugly history, but we have to face it head on. That's what this ceremony was all about Monday morning. More than a dozen people came out to the Riverwalk at Doyle Carlton Drive and West Laurel Street for the unveiling of this lynching marker honoring Robert Johnson. He was 40 and accused of assaulting a white woman. He was able to prove his innocence and cleared of all charges. Instead of releasing him, he was turned over to an armed white man and lynched. His body was left near the Hillsborough River at Sly Ave. To think that less than 100 years ago, something like that happened in our community is a reminder of how far we have come, but how far we have yet to go. Johnson's lynching happened in 1934. He wasn't the only one. In fact, there were more than 4,000 lynchings between 1882 and 1968, according to the NAACP. It's personal for State Rep Diane Hart. I had to go to colored water fountains. I had to go to black only doors to go into businesses when I was a kid growing up. But my mom's brother, they had their whole family had to leave Georgia in the dead of the night because he was going to be lynched for looking at a white woman. And ceremonies like this definitely triggering for many. A Tampa Councilman Louis Vieira says that's why he pushed to get this marker here along with several other elected officials and the Tampa Hillsborough Community Remembrance Project. Well, it's very critical for us to remember all of our history because painful and ignored history is still relevant to us today. In Tampa, J.J. Burton, ABC Action News. New at 530, crews breaking ground today on a big park and library expansion in Thanota Sassa. The new building there is going to connect the expanded park and community center with the new library.